Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 34 of my SPSS tutorial videos here on YouTube. Today we're going to have another look at ANOVA and for the first time we're going to have a look at the multivariate ANOVA, also known as the MANOVA. Which basically means that you have more than one dependent variable. And in this case we're going to have a look at a data set, at a, uh, at a structure with one independent variable and two dependent variables. But first, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this uh, video and subscribe to, my, uh, subscribe to this channel. I want to make BuzzPSS grow as much as possible and therefore every, be, every subscriber would be very much uh, appreciated. Okay, so the data set we're working with is the same data set we've been working with for the past two episodes, which is about uh, religion and about going to church. And the independent variable is going to be length. So how long have you been going to this church? And there are four categories. Basically, since my uh, I've been going to this church since my birth, since I changed churches at a later age, or I don't belong to a church. And we want to know whether there's a difference, whether there are significant differences between these groups for not one, but two dependent variables being religious commitment one and religious commitment two, so how religiously committed you are. And we want to know whether there are differences between the length groups for both these variables, for two dependent variables. Okay, so you're going to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, and this time Multivariate. And then you select as the uh, fixed factor, you select Length. And the Religious Commitment 1 and 2 are going to be the two dependent variables. Model, Contrast and Plots you can leave as it is. Postdoc, you can select length and then select either LSD, Bonferroni or Chuki. In this case, I'll choose LSD. At estimated marginal means, you select length again and then compare main effects for LSD. Uh, save and bootstrap, you leave them as they are. And at options, you're going to select descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, observed power, parameter estimates, and last but not least, uh, homogeneity tests, which is important to select. And then you press paste. And then if you didn't have a syntax opened, it will open now. Then you select the code for the linear model and select the big green play button, also known as run selection. So then an output screen opens and you can first of all see the frequency table for the four different length groups. And then afterwards the, me uh, the means of religious commitment one, uh, the means of religious commitment one, for the four length groups and the religious commitment and the religious commitment scores for the religious commitment two scores for the four categories. And you can see that there are some differences between the groups that they are the, for example, the highest uh, religious commitment one group is group two and the lowest uh, religious commitment one group is group four, which don't go to a church at all. And, but we want to know now whether these uh, differences are actually significant or not. First, there's the boxes test of equality of covariance matrices, which tests that there is an equal, uh, yeah, which basically tests whether there is an equality of, if, of covariances across the two dependent variables. And in this case, it needs to be the significance level needs to be higher, just like the Levine test. It needs to be higher than 0.05. Normally we're looking for values below 0.05, but in this case you want it to be higher than 0.05, which is the case. So therefore the boxes test of equality has been met. Then if we take a look at the multivariate tests and we look at the length of uh, then and you can take a look at all, uh, you have to make a decision which of these four traces, which of these four, uh, four rows you will use. But uh, in this case, since the boxes uh, test has been met, I'm going to take a look at the Pillai's trace. And if you then look at significance, you'll see that it's 0 0.000, which is smaller than 0 0.01. And therefore, we can conclude that there are certain differences, significant differences between the categorical groups for at least one of the two uh, dependent variables which is still quite broad. You'd got, uh, we know that, okay, there is at least one significant difference in all these descriptions. But there, but we want to know, of course, which, uh, which uh, specific differences are significant. 
First, there will be another Levine's test. And you take a look at, uh, for both the uh, uh, dependent variables, there's a Levine's test. Now, if you take a look, we see that it's 0 0.619 and 0 0.220, which again, just like the boxes test, needs to be higher than 0 0.05. So therefore, we can conclude that the uh, Levine's test of equality uh, uh, requirements have been met. Let me scroll even lower. You can leave this one as it is. Uh, yeah, and here you can see a uh, small univariate test. But let's see, what will I start with? Um, yeah, over here at the uh, in the final table, which is called the multiple comparisons, and it's a post hoc test. You can see uh, you can compare the different groups, so uh, length one with length two. You can compare them, for example, they are, they have a significant difference, one and two, for religious commitment one, in religious commitment one. And for example, in religious commitment two, uh, length one and length two also have a very significant difference. But for example, in religious commitment two, if we then compare group one and group three, we see that the, uh, that the difference is only 0.05. And therefore the significance level is 0 0.776. So we can conclude that the groups of, uh, that the two categorical groups being length, uh, in that group one and group three don't have a significant difference in religious commitment two. So there are basically two separate, uh, uh, two separate ANOVAs underneath each other for the multiple, uh, for the multiple dependent variables. If you scroll a little higher, then over here you can see the univariate tests. So for the two, uh, we saw in the Pillai's trace, we saw that there is actually a significant difference in one of, and at least one of the two dependent variables. And if you then scroll lower to the univariate test, we can, uh, we can take a look at the F values, which are six and 13.952 and see that both religious commitment one and religious commitment two have significant differences in them because significance levels lower than 0.1, uh, lower than 0.001. If you then want to know what those specific differences are, you can scroll to the lowest table again and you can compare every single value for the two dependent variables. So once again, first we took a look, uh, as a conclusion, first we took a look at the boxes test, which was met. Then we, you take a look at the Levine's test and we saw that the requirements were met. Then if we took a look at Pillai's trace uh, for length, we could see that there was a significant difference in at least one of the two dependent variables between the categories. And if you then go to the univariate test, so the two separate ANOVA tests, basically, you can see that uh, both religious commitment one and religious commitment two, so both dependent variables, have a difference between their categorical groups because their significance level are smaller than 0.05. And then if you want to know what those specific differences are, you can take a look at the lowest table, which are the multiple comparisons. So this is how to do a MANOVA, or in other words, a multivariate ANOVA. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, if you have a question about this, then just ask it in the comment section and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. I'll be back very soon with a new SPSS video, uh, which is again going to be on multivariate and ANOVA, but then with two independent variables, so it's going to be a bit tougher. But for now, guys, I'm out. See you for another video. Bye-bye.